Hello everyone. I'm back at the office today and I decided to just go ahead and do my story time while I'm here. And you know, I really enjoyed the pictures and the story that we did last week. So I found another uh, book by the same author that I wanted to share with you today because it's about one of my favorite subjects. It's about music. And um, you know, these days, Music can pick me up on a day when I don't feel very good or when I've had a bad day or if I'm just sad. Sometimes I just put my headphones on and start listening to my music and it lifts me up. And, you know, as I was getting ready for this and I, I read the storybook, I thought, you know, I never thought about that before. Where did music come from? Who created singing? And I thought about how quiet the world would have been if the birds didn't sing, if the wind didn't whistle, if thunder didn't boom in the sky. I thought how quiet this place would be. But thankfully, not only did God give us voices to speak and create animals to sing or to make sounds, that we have a world that is full of beautiful music. And you know, you all know that I love to sing. I hope you all do too, but you all know I, I'm in the church choir at church and that's one of the things during COVID. I miss it so much. I miss being able to sing with the other people in our choir. You know, I could sing on my own, but it's just not as much fun as it was when we could all get together and sing some of our favorite songs together as a choir. Do you like to sing? Maybe you like to sing in the shower or maybe you like to sing about everything or Maybe you like to sing just to annoy your brother or your sister or your parents. Music is important to our lives. It has a lot of purposes. There's happy music, there's sad music, there's loud music, there's quiet music. There are all different types of music in our world today. And you know, it can help us through the darkest times, but it can also help us to celebrate and have fun. I know you all like to do, when we do Vacation Bible School, I love when we have the song time where we're together and we're singing together and we can be goofy and do fun things. And so music is very happy for, it's a very happy thing for us. It can help us out in a lot of different ways. Well, the book that I'm going to read you today for our story time is called Who Sang the First Song? And it's by Ellie Holcomb, who's the book we read last week was by. So I'm going to read it to you right now. And let's see, who do you think sang the first song? Who sang the first song? Who hummed the first tune? Was it the wind blowing past the silvery moon? Were the stars making noise as they sparkled at night? Did the sun sing a song as it colored the sky? Did the waves make a song as they crashed on the shore? Or was it the whales? Or the lion's first roar? Did the flowers hum as they burst into bloom? Or was the first song when the thunder went boom? Maybe elephants running loud over the ground. Or maybe the birds made the first singing sound. All these guesses we've made are quite good, but they're wrong. It was God, our maker, who sang the first song. When God made the earth, he decided to sing, and he wrote his song into everything. God's song says you're good, you are wonderfully made, and I'll never stop loving you all of your days. So I want you to sing with your life and your voice, for I created, created the earth to make a joyful noise. So now we know who sang the first song. God who made us knew all along that every heart and everything was born with a song it was made to sing.
Isn't that awesome to know that God created music and he created all of us to have a song in us. And not only that, we are part of his song. You know, last week we finished out our story time. There was a part of the uh, the last page of the story said God sings over us and he does. He loves us so much and he sings his song over us. And so, you know, I thought about what the Bible says. I looked up a verse and, and it says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19, it says that we should speak to one another with psalms, with hymns and songs from the Spirit and make music from your heart to the Lord. So here's what I want to challenge you to do. I want you to add some song to your life. I want you to sing a song, even if it's a song you just made up, or maybe it's a song you've heard on the radio, or it's one of your favorite songs from church or from Sunday school or from vacation Bible school. I want to challenge you to each day to add a song to your day. Maybe you want to get up and sing good morning to your family. You know, I used to wake my kids up in the morning with a song. Uh, just add some song to your life. Add some music to your life and create your own music. You can do it in your own way. It doesn't have to be with a piano or with instruments or, you know, to the radio. You can sing a song in your own heart. And, you know, God put that song in us. He put that ability in us to do. So I want you to, to challenge you to sing a song to God every day. Let's pray and I'll see you next week when we have our next story time. Dear God, we thank you so much for music. We thank you that it can help us out, that it can lift our spirits, that it can help us to express our joy, our anger, our pain. Lord, you just gave us a wonderful gift in music. And I, I thank you every day when I can hear the birds singing or I hear the wind blowing or I hear children laughing and playing. Lord, I just thank you so much that there is music in everything and help us to remember where that music came from and that you created us to be a part of your song and help us to express that song to others. It can help on a really bad day and it can help on a really exciting day. So I pray, Lord, that you will help us to find that song that we can sing to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'll see you all next week.